Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, I was out here to just kind of range test. As you remember in my last video, I cracked the forearm on this old Savage 745. I bought a new one uh, that I'm trying. You can buy these at a lot of different places. Some of them are very expensive. This is a, this is a walnut hard stock. Uh, I actually stained it uh, to match the butt stock. I think it looked, uh, came out pretty good. Uh, it's, this is a shooter shotgun. I've been doing a lot of work on this gun over the years, uh, but it's got a, uh, I welded a rifle sight up here, cut the barrel back, uh, <clears throat> opened it up just a little bit, welded on a rifle type sight, uh, and replaced this, uh, this forearm that cracked on me last week. But I got this at Numerich Gun Parts, egunparts.com. And this one is a little bit shorter and it's got a, uh, it's got a shock, a shock absorbing piece of Darylin up here, uh, right underneath the magazine cap nut. Uh, and it's supposed to, when this, this whole barrel recoils down into the action, this whole barrel moves down into the action. When it slams back forward, it's supposed to absorb that recoil. So, uh, I kind of thought that was a good idea for this particular type of recoiling, uh, action shotgun. These, uh, the, the Browning Auto Fives, the Remington 11s, and the Savage 745, 7, 720, 755, they're all recoil action shotguns, not gas operated. So the whole barrel comes back into the receiver and it basically slows down the barrel and controls the action via a, a bronze friction ring in here, friction ring. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda test fire today. I've got some slugs in here. I'm gonna be shooting at a target up there. I also added, since I had a rifle sight up there, which was plenty accurate just with the way this gun uh, uh, shot to point of aim because I, I kind of filed the sight down to a point where it was, it was I could hit targets anywhere from 50 to 100 yards with slugs. But I added a, uh, a peep sight to this gun. <clears throat> I got to looking around through some things that we all have in our, our drawers that from, from time to time that we... Uh, don't use or we buy or just throw in there and forget we have, but this is a Williams uh, rear peep sight. This is just the top peep hole off of a peep sight for a Ruger Mini 14. Uh, so I drilled and tapped the top of the receiver right here and just put a little rear peep sight here. It's going to give me, I hope, a better sight picture and I'm just going to kind of check it out today. So uh, <clears throat> a lot of people do too much talking and not enough shooting, so I'm going to do some shooting. to shoot so I'm locked and loaded I'm ready to go let's see what happens here let's go check that out just keep it on awesome we'll lock it too. Uh, those were those arrow exacta uh, exacta arrow slugs 1560 feet per second uh, they were very accurate out of this gun before. Um, I really like them. They're my new slug. Uh, and as you can see, uh, that is what you want out of a slug gun. Uh, I was about uh, 30 yards away. Uh, the new rear peep sight performed admirably. I just took a standard sight picture with a rear peep. Uh, front sight post directly in the middle of it, and that's the result. So I'm going to go put a couple more rounds on this other target, and uh, we'll show you the results of that. All right, we're ready to go with a couple more rounds. I'm just casually shooting, so uh, these are one-ounce arrow slugs, uh, Fiocchi, and I don't care how everybody else says it, I say Fiocchi. Uh, <clears throat> So, let's see what happens here. Got I got that one. Let's walk up. This is fun as hell, by the way, to, uh, to make some mods to your gun that, that work out and find a load that your shotgun loves, or rifle, handgun, whatever it is. It's kind of what this sport is all about. <laughs> Especially if you intend to defend yourself with these weapons. Uh, I missed the first shot. You can see I pushed it just a little bit. Uh, those sights are really dead on. That was me. That was an error. But that's uh, that's, some sh that's the shizzle right there. 
I'm gonna put uh, two rounds of uh, I'm gonna put two rounds of double alt buckshot. This is uh, the uh, Centurion 12 pellet double alt buckshot. So it's got 12 pellets of 33 caliber lead shot in them. I'm gonna put two rounds. I'm gonna try to put one here and one here. We'll see how those work out. Good. All right, this is uh, two rounds of uh, Centurion 12 pellet double off buff. Wow, those are stout loads, man. Those are those are those are hotter than the slugs. I'd rather shoot the slugs, actually. Uh, those give you a nice flat fucking head uh, when you pull the trigger on them. <sighs> uh, see boy some of them grouped really well I pulled that just a little bit low but they're they're all over this target uh, that was about a 15 yard shot I'm gonna come back and put one more slug on the target and then we're gonna uh, probably wrap it up but I just wanted to test the gun those are sweet as always, kick ass with fucking one-out slugs. All right, I think that does it for today. Savage 745 police modification. Uh, the next thing I'll probably do is put an extended mag on it. I really don't know why, other than just a couple more shots, but really I think it's gonna enable me to hang a, a, a really light flashlight up here. After that, there's not a whole lot this gun needs. Uh, that'll be 13 rounds with six on the stock and and seven or eight in the gun that's plenty for what i'm doing with it but uh uh if you got any questions about the browning auto 5 the savage uh 745 or remington 11 just email me at the information below peace out okay i got a i got an enemy milk jug up there we were just wrapping things up and this enemy milk jug came into my sector as I was scanning my sector, so I'm going to take care of them right now. He won't be reporting back to battalion. 